I've been using cloth diapers on all three of my kids since 2014. I have a system that works, and if you want to know anything and everything about cloth diapers, then keep on watching. If you're new here, welcome to Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali, and I love sharing practical and useful content all about organizing, time management, motherhood, and just stuff to help simplify your life. A while back, I posted about cloth diapers on Instagram and got a ton of questions. If you're not following me on Insta yet, there's my Instagram handle. So since I got so many questions about cloth diapers, I decided to do a video about it because there's so much info when it comes to cloth diapers. In today's video, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know if you're considering cloth diapering. I'll share the pros and cons, what you'll need to buy, how to wash and dry them, and how I store them. So first off, let's get into the pros of cloth diapering. Number one, it's better for the environment. You'll be able to reuse these diapers for years on multiple children, and as you'll soon learn, I only do one load once a week. So this is definitely a more eco-friendly option than disposable diapers. Number two, you'll save money in the long run. Up front, it can be costly depending on the type of diapers that you decide to buy. But over time, it's cheaper to use cloth, especially if you use it on more than one child. They're also easy to resell, so you will be able to get some of your money back. Number three, helps with potty training. I'm not sure if this is entirely true, but apparently kids in cloth diapers potty train more quickly because they feel the wetness, unlike a disposable diaper. So they learn more quickly what it means to be wet and as a result will want to potty train more quickly. Number four, less rashes. It is more natural to have cloth diapers against a baby's skin, whereas some disposable diapers might contain chemicals. This might be better for the child and lead to less rashes and irritation. Number five, super cute. They're adorable and come in some of the cutest designs. And now for the cons. Number one, it's more work. You'll have to wash and dry all of these diapers. That's more laundry and more work. It's a lot easier to just toss a disposable diaper. Number two, upfront cost. Depending on the type of diapers that you buy, it can be pretty costly upfront. Number three, kind of gross. They can get pretty smelly and gross. Cleaning cloth diapers just simply isn't everyone's cup of tea. My husband can't stand it, so he doesn't do it. Number four, need to be changed more often. They're not as absorbent as disposable diapers, so you will have to change them more often. Overnight, you'll probably also have to resort to disposable diapers. And lastly, this one is both a pro and a con. They're a lot thicker than disposable diapers, so this looks super cute on babies. It makes their bum look even chubbier. The downside is that some of their clothes might not fit over the diapers, though my kids were all on the skinnier side, so I didn't have this issue. I actually felt like their clothing fit better over cloth diapers, but it really depends on how big your baby is. And depending on the type of car seat that you have, you might have trouble buckling them in with a puffy cloth diaper on. We just ended up using disposable diapers when going out. All right, now that you know the pros and cons, I'll explain my cloth diapering system that I learned from my hypnobirthing instructor. When I was pregnant with my first, I was so scared of giving birth. I knew I was gonna take every drug available to get me through labor, but I also wanted a backup plan in case the drugs didn't work. So I signed up for hypnobirthing. If you're not familiar with it, what it is is that they teach you how to basically meditate and get into a state of hypnosis when giving birth so that you can manage the pain. Long story short, I never managed to master the art of hypnosis and I ended up having a planned C-section so there was no need for me to do it anyway. But I'm still glad I took the class because that's where I met my instructor, Yvonne Ling, who is awesome by the way. So if you live in Toronto and you're interested in this kind of stuff, look her up. Anyway, she had two kids and used cloth diapers on both and she came up with a system that only required washing diapers once a week. I hate doing laundry, so this sounded like the perfect plan for me. She emailed me all of the details and I tried it out. It worked really well for me and I continued doing it ever since and it's now been six years that I've been using this system. So let's start off with what to buy. Normally, if you're planning to wash your diapers more often, you can probably buy 15 to 20 cloth diapers and you should be fine. But since I only wanted to wash once a week, I needed around 30 diapers. I currently have 32. 
In order to figure out which diapers to buy, I asked a friend that had done a ton of research on it. She was expecting twins at the time and knew that she wanted to use cloth diapers. Right away, she recommended a brand called Bum Genius, but she said that she wouldn't be getting those ones because they're on the pricier side, so she'd be getting something else. I'm not really sure what she ended up using, but she said that if cost wasn't a factor, she'd definitely get Bum Genius. I then went to a store that sells cloth diapers. I went to Diaper Ease in Toronto. They had so many brands and styles, it was actually pretty overwhelming. So I asked uh, the salesperson which one she'd recommend, and she also said Bum Genius if cost wasn't a factor. So that was how I decided on that brand. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Bum Genius. So cloth diapers come in different styles. There are some that are just the cloth that you wrap around the baby and then you have these little things that you can attach on that work like a safety pin, but it's a lot safer than a safety pin. Um, and then you can slide a waterproof cover over the cloth. There's all-in-one diapers that come with everything all together, the inserts and the waterproof cover. There's all-in-one diapers that you have to stuff the absorbent inserts inside the cover. There's diapers where the inserts are already attached to the waterproof cover. There's ones with snap closures and others with Velcro. I knew I wanted all-in-one diapers because I wanted the simplest option because I wanted my husband to stick to cloth diapers. I knew that if I made it too complicated for him, he wouldn't do it. So all-in-one makes things a little easier, so that's what I wanted. At the time, Bum Genius had three all-in-one styles for me to choose from, Elemental, Free Time, and I think it was called Original 2.0 at the time, now it's called Original 5.0. I also decided to go with snaps instead of velcro because the salesperson told me that snaps would probably last longer and not look as worn out as velcro does over time. She recommended the elemental style of diapers because they were organic, the inserts were already attached, and they weren't as puffy as the other two styles. This was the most expensive option of the three Bum Genius styles, but I decided to get mostly elemental diapers for my collection. I then bought a few free time diapers and a few 2.0 diapers. Free time has the inserts attached, whereas 2.0, which is now 5.0, needs to be stuffed. 2.0 is also puffier than free time diapers. Within the first year of having these diapers, even though I followed the washing instructions, my elemental diapers started to get holes in them, the inserts were slowly falling apart, and since I was still within one year since I had purchased them, I decided to contact Bum Genius, and they agreed to exchange all of my elemental diapers for new elemental ones or a different style. I decided to swap for free time because I was really happy with those diapers. I don't know if it was only the elemental diapers that I had that had this issue or if Bum Genius has since changed the fabric. Maybe now they last longer, but based on my experience, I wouldn't recommend the elemental ones. As for 2.0 or 5.0, those ones are durable, but stuffing diapers is extra work, and as a mom, you simply don't have time for extra work. So I also don't recommend the original 5.0 ones. As for free time diapers, those are my favorite, and my collection consists mostly of these. I wish that all of my diapers were free time. This is an all-in-one diaper. The inserts are already attached, so no need to stuff them, and they're durable. Also, with the different snaps, you can use them from newborn until your child is potty trained, so there's no need to buy different sizes. My babies were all tiny five pound babies, so I didn't use cloth right away. I waited until they were one or two months old. I also wanted to keep things as easy as possible while recovering from my C-sections, so I didn't want to add in the extra work of cloth diapering. I should also mention that I had purchased 26 Bum Genius diapers, and then I decided to add to my collection and bought two other brands. I bought five diapers from one brand because they looked adorable, and I bought one diaper from a different brand. I'm not going to mention which brands they were, but let's just say they did not compare to Bum Genius. One of them isn't as absorbent and usually leaks. The other one started to fall apart within the first year. All right, now that you know the brand and the style of diaper that I like, which I've linked down below, let's move on to the other items that you'll need. 
We have two diaper pails because we use cloth and disposable diapers at home. My daughter is now out of diapers. My son Kian is almost done with diapers, but he uses disposable ones at preschool because they don't allow cloth. So that's what he's gotten used to and doesn't want to use cloth anymore. Also at night, we use disposable diapers on Josh and Kian since they're more absorbent and less likely to leak overnight. We just have regular pails, no diaper genie or anything. You can't put a cloth diaper in a diaper genie anyway, and we don't notice that the disposable ones smell in a regular pail, so this works for us. I also purchased a waterproof diaper pail liner for the cloth diapers. This acts as a big bag in the pail to hold all of the diapers and helps keep the pail clean. I have a wet, dry bag for going out. You keep your clean diapers in one section and dirty ones in the other. But now that I no longer use cloth diapers when going out, I rarely use this wet, dry bag. So I'd only recommend getting one if you're planning to use cloth diapers when going out. I purchased a huge tub of Nelly's laundry soda from Costco, which we put away in storage and only fill up a smaller jar as we need more. You have to use a natural laundry detergent with cloth diapers so that they remain absorbent. You can't just use Tide or other regular detergent. I also purchased a diaper sprayer. The first one I had broke after a couple years and then I had to buy a new one. I also bought a drying rack and a pocket shoe organizer. I'll explain why later. If you only wanna wash diapers once a week, you will have to hand rinse every single diaper and wring it out before you throw it into the pail. And the reason you have to do that is because if it's going to sit in the pail for an entire week, it's really gonna stink if you don't rinse them. If you decide to wash your diapers more often, then all you have to do is throw any poop into the toilet and flush that. And then you can use a diaper sprayer to spray off anything that's stuck on. Then just throw it in the pail. Then on laundry day, put it all in the washer and they'll come out perfectly clean. And yes, your machine will also be clean. There won't be poop all over the place. I know people worry about that happening. So what I do is spray off any poop into the toilet and flush that. Then I hand rinse the diaper in the sink and wring it out. I then toss it into the diaper pail. Then once a week, I put all of the diapers and the pail liner into the washing machine. I use two scoops of Nelly's laundry soda and wash it as a heavy duty load with hot water. Once that cycle is done, I use the rinse cycle. Do not use regular detergent or fabric softener with your diapers. They will get ruined if you do that and will no longer be absorbent. I also spray the diaper pail with vinegar every week and rinse it out. I then let it air dry while the diapers are being washed and dried. My diapers have never gotten moldy by sitting in the pail for a week. And as long as I thoroughly rinse all of the diapers, they do not stink up our bathroom. Now let's get into how I dry the diapers. They can't be put in the dryer, so I hang them on a drying rack and just leave them in our condo to dry. If it's spring or summer, I can put them outside, but I usually just dry them indoors. Also, if your diapers get stained, all you have to do is dry them in the sun. The sun acts as a natural bleach and that should help your diaper liners get white again. Once they're all dry, I fold them. If necessary, I stuff them and I place them in a pocket shoe organizer that's hanging on the back of the kid's bedroom door. This is such an easy and space saving way to store cloth diapers. As you know, I'm all about finding effective organization solutions. So if you want to know how to organize your entire home step by step, room by room, make sure to sign up for my Clear the Clutter membership, which is where I'll teach you how to fully organize your home and implement systems that will make it last forever. The link is in the description of this video, or you can visit my website for more information. And there you go, guys. That is my entire cloth diapering system. I really hope that you found this video useful. If if you have any questions just leave them down below in the comments and if you like this video hit the thumbs up it lets me know that you want more content like this next week's video is going to be all about kids clothing what type of clothing I like to buy for them and how I organize it so be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted also make sure to check out one of these videos for more useful tips and tricks as always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!